Are you considering making the move to Walnut Grove or do you just want to gather some more information about it as you're considering Langley as a whole? Well, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to give you everything you need to know about Walnut Grove, including the amenities in the area, the real estate prices, rental prices, and commute times. So stay tuned for this one. My name is Donovan Ash from the Elevation Real Estate Group and Remax Treeland right here in Langley. If you're new to the channel, I do weekly videos on living in the Fraser Valley, as well as all things real estate. So if that's of interest to you, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified whenever new videos come out. And if you find this information helpful, if you don't mind just hitting that like button, it really helps get this video out to more people that are looking for this information. Now, without further ado, let's talk about Walnut Grove. Walnut Grove is actually my hometown. So where I was born and raised, where I went to school, where I hung out with my friends. So I know this community really, really well. To start, let's chat about the location. So Walnut Grove borders Surrey at 196th Street, it borders the Fraser River to the north. It is one of the northernmost communities in Langley. And then to the south, it would border the number one highway so that East, it's gonna border Fort Langley. So it's a pretty small community, right in kind of that northwestern corner of Langley. With Walnut Grove being so close to the number one highway, as well as the Golden Years Bridge heading into Maple Ridge, it makes it a very popular destination for commuters. Langley is also geographically in kind of the center of the Fraser Valley, so it makes it easy for people heading towards Vancouver or heading east towards Abbotsford and Chilliwack. Let's go over some of the commute times that you're gonna face if you're living in Walnut Grove. It's gonna take you about 50 minutes to get to Vancouver, 20 minutes to get to the King George Skytrain Station, about 15 minutes to Costco, 15 minutes to the Langley Hospital, and about 25 minutes to the US border. Speaking of getting around, I should also mention the Carvel Bus Exchange, which is right on the border of Willoughby and Walnut Grove, but still very accessible from Walnut Grove. The Carvel Bus Loop connects Walnut Grove and Langley to the rest of the Lower Mainland, with routes out to Surrey, US Minster, Burnaby, Maple Ridge, and into Langley City. This provides commuters with access to the SkyTrain in Surrey and therefore the rest of the Lower Mainland and Vancouver. Right across the Golden Ears Bridge, there's also the West Coast Express, which is a rail service that offers transportation into Vancouver from Maple Ridge. This is an excellent option for those commuting to Vancouver if they're not keen on taking the bus or the SkyTrain. Next, let's talk about what type of home you're gonna find in Walnut Grove. Walnut Grove is mostly made up of detached homes that were built in the 80s and 90s. These homes are going to be on smaller to mid-sized lots between that five to 10,000 square foot range for the most part. But of course, you can find homes on larger lots up to a half acre or even more. You'll also find some townhouses in Walnut Grove, although many of the communities are gated age-restricted townhome developments. There are some non-age restricted townhomes as well. As for condos, you will find some condos in Walnut Grove, although there are not a ton. Most of those are going to be on the western side of Walnut Grove, closer to the number one highway and 88th Avenue, although there are a few over towards 216th Street as well. Walnut Grove is one of the more desirable areas in Langley, and so we have seen a trend of older homes being removed and newer, bigger luxury homes replacing them over the last few years. And I suspect this trend will continue over the next decade. When we're comparing home values in Walnut Grove to the rest of Langley, Walnut Grove is at a bit of a discount, especially for the detached market. So your average price of a detached home in Langley is about 1.48 million, and your average detached price in Walnut Grove is about 1.28 million. For townhouses and condos, those numbers are going to be basically identical to the rest of Langley. Townhouses in both areas of Walnut Grove and Langley are about 815,000. And for a condo, you're going to be looking at about 565,000. If buying's not an option for you right now, but you're still considering making the move to Walnut Grove and you're looking to rent, then there is some good news. Rentals are available in Walnut Grove. Although there's not a plethora of them, you should be able to find something. Just know that in Walnut Grove, because there's not as many rentals, you may end up paying a premium over some other areas in Langley, such as Willoughby, where there's tons of rentals available. In Walnut Grove, for a single family home, you're going to be paying about $4,000 a month or more. For a townhouse or condo, you're gonna be about $2,500 a month, and basement suites are now around $2,000 a month. You can find some single rooms that wouldn't have a kitchen, maybe a small kitchenette, and that would be as little as $1,000 a month. Next, let's chat about some of the neighborhood highlights in Walnut Grove. The first would be the Walnut Grove Community Center which offers a pool complete with water slides and diving boards, 
a skate park for those nice summer nights, as well as lots of sports programs for all ages. I myself am there just about every Tuesday night playing ball hockey with a great group of guys. For those hockey enthusiasts, there's also the Sportsplex, which has four ice surfaces and hosts many tournaments in the Langley area for the minor hockey leagues. Sportsplex is always busy. There's a pro shop as well as a gym and a daycare there. So if you're looking to move into the community, you'll definitely be stopping in there at some point. You can't miss it. It's a big red building right across from Colossus. And that brings us to Colossus Movie Theaters. This is actually the largest movie theater, I believe in Canada, west of Toronto. And it is a fantastic place to take the family for a movie or sneak out for a quick date night. Another highlight in the Walnut Grove area is the location. As I mentioned earlier, it is a very popular area for commuters because of its proximity to the highway as well as the Golden Ears Bridge. And that makes it very convenient to access all other areas within the Fraser Valley and the Lower Mainland. You also get a sense of a pride of ownership when you live in Walnut Grove. You see that all the homes are fairly well maintained, yards are manicured, and people really enjoy living in this very clean, beautiful community. If you're an avid golfer, you're also going to want to check out Redwoods, which is right on the border of Walnut Grove and Fort Langley. Redwoods is a beautiful 18 hole golf course that is also a popular wedding venue and hosts many other events throughout the year. If you're an avid golfer, I definitely recommend checking it out. Although it does have narrow fairways, so if you tend to slice the ball like I do every once in a while, make sure to bring a couple of extra. Moving on to the restaurants and shopping, Walnut Grove has just about everything that you would need to get by with your daily life without having to head into Langley City to the Costco. For your major shopping, there's Thunderbird Center, which is located close to the number one highway, just off 88th Avenue. This is very close to the Colossus and the Sportsplex as well, and has a fresh street market, which is fairly new to the community, offering groceries as well as some great hot food options. There's also a Brown Social House, there is a Shopper's Drug Mart, and a plethora of other restaurants and little retail shops there for your everyday conveniences. There's also a Starbucks at Tim Hortons and an Ando's, very close to Thunderbird Center as well. For the rest of your shopping, you're gonna to go to Mountain View Plaza, which is over at 210th Street and 88th Avenue. There you're going to find a Save On Foods, BC Liquor Store, Dollar Stores, as well as many other restaurants, such as some great sushi places, dental offices, and other amenities like that. As for some notable restaurants in Walnut Grove, if you're looking to go out for a nice date night, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Keg. Keg Steakhouse is fantastic for a date night, and if you're going for a birthday celebration or something specific, they'll even throw in a slice of Billy Minor pie on the house, which is my wife's favorite dessert in the world. One of my personal favorites is good old White Spot. This is a fantastic place to go for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but I definitely love their breakfasts. It's a great family feel vibe, and they just renovated the one in Walmart Grove, so it is looking very nice and fresh. If you're looking for some other options, there's Brown Social House, which is located in Thunderbird Center. There's also Moxie's, which is just across the highway, technically in Willoughby, but very accessible from Walnut Grove as well. If you're looking for some great beers on tap, there's the Barley Merchant, which has over 50 local beers on tap. And if you're looking for nightlife, Oak and Thorn is going to be this place to go. Previously known as Sharks Club, Oak and Thorn is busy on the weekends and is more of that kind of nightclub feel. Whereas during the week, it would be more of just kind of that restaurant and bar feel. They have some fun arcade games downstairs and it's a great place to go hang out. If you're not looking for that kind of bar scene on a Friday or Saturday night, I wouldn't recommend checking it out as it will be busy and packed. Next, let's chat about schools in Walnut Grove. If you are a family, this is no doubt going to be on your mind. And Walnut Grove has lots of options for schools. So there are seven schools total in Walnut Grove. The first one would be James Kennedy Elementary, Topham Elementary, West Langley Elementary, Alex Hope Elementary, and Gordon Greenwood Elementary. There's also a call to Voyageur, which is a French speaking school that services all of the Fraser Valley as well as the Lower Mainland. And the high school is Walnut Grove Secondary School, which is the largest one in Langley at over 2,000 students. They have fantastic sports programs and are located right next to that Walnut Grove Community Center. So who is Walnut Grove best for? Well, with me personally growing up there, I feel like Walnut Grove is a fantastic place for families. My childhood was full of playing street hockey, riding my bike and being outside with my friends, playing in the cul-de-sacs where there's lots of room and it's fairly safe. Walnut Grove is also great for seniors as there are ranchers in the community 
and it's nice and quiet while still being close to all of your amenities. Walnut Grove also has those 55 plus communities to offer to people that are looking to downsize or retire, so it's a fantastic fit for them as well. Walnut Grove could be a stretch for a single person who's looking to buy out their first home, as it is more expensive and there's not as many condos and townhouses. For someone like that, I would maybe recommend an area more like Willoughby, which you can check out in another video on my channel. And this video would not be complete without me mentioning some cons to Walnut Grove. It's not all rainbows and butterflies as we know. So, one of the main cons of Walnut Grove is traffic. 88th Avenue is your main drag heading east-west throughout Walnut Grove, and it can get very backed up during peak traffic times throughout the day. If you are trying to head north or south within Langley, you're also going to run into issues on 208th Street or 200th Street, as those also get very busy during peak traffic times. On 208th Street, you're going to find a lot of construction, as several of the properties there are under construction and will be being turned into townhouse projects or condos. So be ready for that. Another thing about Walnut Grove is that it is a bit of an older community with a lot of the properties being built in the 80s and 90s that also goes for these strip malls and shopping centers with the exclusion of maybe the Thunderbird shopping area close to the number one highway in 88th Avenue, which is a good bit newer. But a lot of the little strip malls are showing their age and you can tell when you haven't driven through Walnut Grove for a while and you come back home, you're like, oh wow, yeah, this is a little bit of an older community. The last call that I'll mention is the distance to the rest of Langley. So being on the northern border of Langley, if you're heading south to do any shopping at the mall or at Costco, you are going to have to go down 200th Street or 208th Street. And once again, you're gonna run into that traffic. So it's gonna take you a little bit longer. Overall, Walnut Grove is a fantastic place to live. I loved growing up there, my parents still live there, and they have no plans to move after being there for about 25 years. So, it will always be a part of my life, and if you're looking for a great realtor that knows the area, I'd be more than happy to chat with you. You can book a meeting with me by using the link in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, I would ask that you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever a new video drops and hit that like button just so that we can help this information get out to more people that are also looking for information on these communities. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, I'm Donovan Ash from the Elevation Real Estate Group and Remax Freeland Realty, and we'll see you in the next video.